All right, everybody. Looks like we are once again live. Welcome to another episode of Yankees Merca Guns and Freedom Podcast. If you've never been here before, this is just a conversation between myself and my viewers. Uh, although you don't have to talk to me at all, if you don't want to, you can talk amongst yourselves over there in the live chat. All you want is a place you can come every day for about an hour and have conversations with like-minded individuals about common interests. But if you do want to talk to me, that's what I'm here for. So you can ask me questions, so you can suggest topics, so you can call me out if you think I've been wrong about something. You can just come on in here. Let me know if you think I have been either factually incorrect or just my opinion is a little bit wonky and you don't agree with it, you can come in here and you can set me straight. Let me know what you think. All you got to do is let me know you want to come in. All you got to have is a microphone so we can hear you. <clears throat> don't even have to have a camera. Uh, and we can uh, get it on, as they say. Uh, throw down, I guess would be a better word. doesn't sound quite as uh, uh, sexual. Uh, so... Uh, Feel free to let me know if you disagree with me on something and you want to come in and uh, let me know about it. Uh, otherwise, if you got questions or comments for me, just let me know in, in the comment section. Uh, make sure you put at the Yankee Marshall in front of every one of your questions and comments that are directed at me. If you're talking amongst yourselves, then you can just talk to each other. But if you want to talk to me, make sure you put at the Yankee Marshall at the uh, beginning. Uh, hold on. Uh, <clears throat> uh, that will help me see it and I will actually get to answer your questions and address your comments uh, if you don't do that probably won't see them so please do that and don't repeat your questions only put them in there once uh, uh, once they're in there I will get to them eventually hopefully uh, if I miss yours I'm sorry it wasn't on purpose it just happens sometimes it's because we run out of time before we run out of questions other times I just miss them but only put them in once and I will do my best to get to them uh, if you've got a question or a comment, you don't want to take a chance of me missing or you don't want to wait to see if I get to it because it does take me a while sometimes. Uh, you could do a super chat. Super chats allow you to jump to the front of the line as far as your question being answered is concerned uh, because those go to fund pets and vets programs. So you get the pleasure of jumping to the front of the line with your question. Uh, other ways you can support uh, pets and vets if you want to is to go over and become a patron. Patron. Patron, patron, uh, over on patreon.com forward slash the Yankee Marshall. That's the best way to support the channel and anything we do that uh, supports most of our programs. Uh, so go on over, become a patron that helps support the channel. Uh, speaking of patrons, uh, we lost, uh, let me make sure here. It hasn't changed since I last looked. Uh, we lost a few patrons uh you were man we lost uh three patrons today uh one of them uh was maybe more no those are people commenting on my pro my thing okay <clears throat> we lost three patrons today uh, one of them left me a really long letter on why they can no longer support me uh, because how dare I do anything that would take away a single vote from Trump during this administration or during this election year when he's our only chance, our only chance at what I don't know, but he's apparently the only chance. People say that a lot. Like only Trump can fix this country and Trump's our only chance. And I'm like, what's what's a chance at what? What's he going to do? Uh, that he, and why didn't he fix it the first term? Uh, you know, uh, he's a politician who ain't going to do nothing else other than what other politicians do, except he might even be a little more openly selfish than other politicians. So he's not the savior of the gun community or the Second Amendment or anything. He would toss away the Constitution in a minute if he thought he could get away with being a Lord Commander for life. If you can't see that about him, well, uh, that's fine, but I'm not the one in a cult. Uh, <clears throat> but like I was saying, you can go over and join uh, Patreon. <clears throat> Although I will say I've lost less people with the Trump thing than I did with the bootlickers thing. Lost a lot more support with the bootlicker thing. So apparently MAGA people are even more open-minded than the bootlickers. 
So that's not good for the bootlickers. Uh, the other program we run, I think we got a chat here I got to get to. Officer Tater Hater said, I sent you an email from Barry Cooper. Enjoy. Um, I have been out all day. I haven't read any of my emails yet, so I will have to look for it later. Uh, yeah, I went to the gun shop today. Uh, and actually, I went down. I had to go down there and I had to pay. Remember, I dropped off that FN57 to be shipped. And I, at the time, they said, well, we'll get it all ready to go. We'll mail it, and then we'll just tell you what you owe them. So they told me what I owed them. So I went down today and paid it and looked around the shop. And I'll swear to God, I didn't find one thing that I was even tempted to buy, except for that same uh, Mini 30 that uh, I was tempted with last time. But, I mean, it's just I'm just in kind of a meh for guns right now. There's not a lot of things new that I'm actually looking for. Now, uh, that's because, you know, there wasn't anything like a Spore revolver or anything. And they were, I would go fucking crazy and call my own eyeballs out uh, if I saw. But uh, uh, five four five by three nine. Wait, that was Officer Tater Hater right there at that there. And uh, and then five four five by three nine said Punva P and V for one pterosaur, one Velociraptor that they have adopted. I am raising and they're paying their child support payments on. Uh, and now to continue with the spiel, the other program we run is TYM Triple P. We announced the winners for TYM Triple P just the other day. I haven't checked in a day or two to see how many of them have responded. I will look tonight. Uh, the winners were, and remember, we had one person that wished to be referred to anonymously because of their situation, which was the first time we've ever had that happen. Uh, the winners were or the recipients were, I shouldn't say, uh, Andrew Ashcraft. Uh, and then J Doe, J period Doe, uh, Frank Ayala and Jill Adams are our recipients this month. So hopefully they will contact me and we'll get them sent off to grab a gun. You know, you can take the 10 days because that less time before I got to pay for it. Uh, more time before I got to pay for it. Uh, let's see here. Uh, what was I doing? I was doing this. Oh, TYM Triple P. Uh, and if you would like to support TYM Triple P, uh, you can do it two different ways. If you want to sign up, go over to TYMPPistolProject.com. Like it says right here on the bottom of my feed, if you can see the feed. Uh, you go over there and sign up if you want to be a beneficiary of TYM Triple P. If you want to support it because you think it's a good program, it's the only program in the country that actually tries to put firearms into the hands of low income families across this country, give them a means to defend themselves and their homesteads. Uh, if you want to support it, go on over and either become a Subscribe Star supporter on subscribestar.com which I don't know if we, I know we didn't get any new subscribers, but did we lose any subscribers on subscribestar.com? No, and I think we did get one. Who did we get? Uh, that's unusual that we got a new subscriber over there. Where does it tell me the new subscribers? Uh, wait, what? That's tipsters. Where does it show me active subs that just joined? Da, da, da. It's giving me. Well, where am I seeing? Where do I see my new subscribers? Because it's showing me one extra subscriber now, but I'm not seeing. Um. I can see my top tipsters. That's Kevin Mabry and uh, Greg Silva and Martin Bisquick and Coral. But I'm not seeing. Oh, here it is. Best of the worst. Uh, that's who signed up today. Best of the worst. I don't know who that is. Uh, we also got someone just signed up as a channel member over here. Evan James just became a WAP member. So everybody scooch on over. Make room for Kevin. 
<clears throat> get on in there. Uh, go in feet first, though. You don't want to get stuck head first. You suffocate. Uh, let's see. I got it. I should put up a sign. But I think it's common sense. Most people are going to go in, go in foot, feet first. Uh, like I said, though, you can either go become a subscribe star member or you can buy merch. My newest merch is up today. Uh, and it's the one that uh, pissed off some people. Let's see if I can find it so I can show it. Uh, where's the actual design? There it is. Here's the actual design. Uh, this is the newest one over there, and it is what made some people mad. Uh, it is, uh, this is the Pro 2A Candidate, and it's, I call it Trump on Guns is the name of the shirt. Uh, and it's Trump, a little caricature did Trump, with all his, uh, uh, a lot of the things he said about guns during his first term. Uh, I support the ban on assault weapons. Take the guns first, due process second. Background checks are fine with me. In fact, he wishes they were stronger. Uh, I like to take the guns early. I support longer waiting periods because, you know, he, he said he wanted to keep guns out of the hands of uh, bad people. He wanted those uh, gun background checks to be stronger so he could keep bad people from getting guns. Uh, and he said, I banned bump stocks. I banned bump stocks. That was me. <clears throat> so there's the newest design over there. It's available on hats, t-shirts, uh, mugs. I think I've sold one item of it, and that's it. And that's why people are like in the thing. Well, why would this be worth? Don't post this. You're going to lose subs. You're going to lose followers, and you're going to sell like one or two items. And I'm like, well, that's not the whole point. How much I sell of it is not the point. The point is I got to tell people the truth. If you can bring, if you can rescue one person from a cult, you should do it. Um, and let's see, was it Kurt Kellner that bought it? Yes, Kurt Kellner. He got him a Trump on guns shirt. He's so far, he's the first one with the balls to wear that shirt. Uh, and also, old Johnny Mandrick got him an infill we trust mug. That was like the, at the title card. Remember the coin, the fill coin? There's merchandise now. Uh, if you want to go over and get that, there's a, 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 a mugs, T-shirts, etc. of the Phil coin. And uh, Miguel Hernandez, he got him uh, 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 in Phil We Trust uh, Magnet. And who else ordered something here? Deborah Eason, she got herself a Trump on Guns mug. So... Uh, a couple people got the Trump on guns design. Only one person's got the shirt so far. Uh, I can assume Deborah's going to try to pick us off people at work because she got a coffee mug. <laughs> Piss off him co-workers. Um, and let's see, that's one I just really... Oh, that's Dale Rickety. What did Dale Rickety get? Dale Rickety got a Trump on guns shirt. Well, of course, he's got the balls to wear it. I mean, he's old. They're, they're, they're dragging behind him, but he's got them. <clears throat> Plus he's at that age, like, what are they going to do to him? Kill him. Oh, there's what a couple of months that he didn't get. <clears throat> and plus, you know, at his age, you start looking for a way to go out in a blaze of glory anyway. <clears throat> Me, by the time I'm his age, I'm going to be going around, you know, going to the zoo and jumping in lion cages and stuff like that. You want you want your death to be memorable. Uh, hell, maybe I can take some people with me when I go too. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Did I do all the things? I did everything. I just read the the notes of who bought stuff and everything. So we're ready to go with the chat here. Uh, let me get over and see. I've got all the super chats answered. Oh, and we will do a giveaway tonight if we get at least 20 entries. We didn't do one last night because it was the podcast with never enough ammo and gun websites. So, uh, tonight we will be doing a giveaway for a uh hat or a t shirt or whatever at the end of the chat. 
Uh, to be entered, all you got to do is do a super chat and get one entry for $2, uh, three entries for $5, seven entries for 10 and 15 for 20. And if for some reason you want to donate more $20, go over to my to tympistolproject.com and donate through PayPal so YouTube don't steal half the money. Uh, although I want to give them some or else they'll probably get rid of me quick. I think sometimes that's the only reason that I don't get, why do I got 428 written down here? It was something important about that. I don't remember what it was. Oh, well. Uh, <clears throat> I write things down, little notes and scribbles and stuff, and then I don't remember what they mean when I go. Sometimes it's I'll just write down a number, and I'm like, well, what's that number about? Other times I'll write down words like Revo R. I'm like, what the fuck? Uh, you know, stuff like that. It just it doesn't make no sense. Um, let's see, where was I at in the questions? Let's get over here to the main chat, see if there's anything coming over in over there. Uh, good evening, ye old fartette. Looking spiffy tonight. Well, I went to the comic, or not comic book store. Uh, I used to always, whenever I left the house, we go to the comic book store, but I, I went to the gun shop. Went to the gun shop. Am I close to getting a silver pen? Yes, I think you actually are getting one. I think I put you on the list for one. We'll know this weekend when my sister mails stuff out. Uh, at approximately 5, 10 p.m. your time, I sent you an email, subscribed, all hail field flag. Let me go over and look for that. I uh, have to go down a little bit. Oh, yep, he's got his field flag up to, hmm, I don't know if I like the idea that it's hung at the same level as the don't tread on me flag. I actually kind of think it should be hung above it. <clears throat> I think you're putting that above Phil. Uh, that's the only problem I got with this. I think maybe that flag should be hung above the 1776 flag, not next to it. I'm almost seeing that as a mild insult to Phil. But I'm glad it got there. Um, Snuffleupagus used his 11-month WAP chat to say, what's up, Yankee? Going to grab a few shirts next week. Well, good. Hopefully you pay for them. Hope it's not a snatch and grab. It'd be kind of hard to snatch and grab from an online retailer, though, isn't it? Uh, excuse me. Did the CDC delete their statistics on gun-related self-defenses? I can't find it anywhere. You know, I haven't looked for it for a long time, but I know they don't keep them anymore. Uh, they started finding out that that was uh contrary to what they want to say about guns and do about guns so i think I, I think it was under not under clinton it might have been under uh bush that they actually like w bush uh that they quit uh, keeping those types of statistics um ba -ba -ba. Who are you voting for? I haven't determined yet. I mean, uh, for president, because I don't really, you know, I don't know what I've got RFK Jr. And I'm not, not sure who all is going to be on the ballot in the state of Washington. And it's not going to be Republican or Democrat candidate. Fuck them. Uh, but I don't know exactly yet. I've still got time to decide. Uh, I can say that there were no wars while Trump was in office. Well, that's just circumstance, and actually, that's not even really true. But uh, you could say that that uh, Obama didn't start any wars, or uh, 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 what's his name, Biden didn't start any wars. So. <clears throat> Uh, Dale Rickety says, what would you recommend for a mid-price first 1911? I got nothing. Uh, what would I recommend? Uh, I like SIGs are nice. Uh, Kimber's got some stuff that's not super high priced. And Kimber makes a good product. Uh, in fact, for 1911s, Kimber's usually the first thing to look at. Uh, uh, but I would probably say the Springfield Armory guns. I mean, most of them are imports even the ones that are supposedly built here are the steel and stuff is forged and 
stuff all out of this country and then brought in but uh they still make a decent little 1911 at a decent price but uh, kimber is usually my first place to go uh kimber does their own steel you know uh, uh licenses in state you know in the states and stuff like that so i, I like the kimbers uh go shadow says yankee when you give me a wrench make sure it is an sae 13 16 wrench i don't know i'm not giving you that one that's i can never find that one um what am i supposed to do for that one if i if i give it to you <clears throat> yeah, that's saying no, there are no wars under Trump. That's just like saying there's been no major volcanic eruptions uh, under Biden. It's something he really doesn't got much to do with. <clears throat> the last president that started a war was, I think, Bush. Um, if I remember, we were still in Afghanistan uh, during the Trump administration. Um, have you ever checked out the German STP guns? They make high-end 1911s, but they also make a couple of nice 357 revolvers. You know, I think I have looked at them. Uh, let me go look here. Da, da, do. Da, 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 da. So I think I looked at like their target, uh, Guns. Do, do, do. Da, da, da. Um, let me see. How do I get to just their web page? Uh, there we go. Uh, which is the one I've looked at before? I think it was the SWAT. Where is it? There it is. The SWAT. SWAT 4.0, SWAT 5. They also got a big old six inch uh, mother. Uh, that's the Eagle Bomar and the Sparta. I, I don't know if, I don't know how high end they are because I've never had experience with one, but they definitely uh, are, are pricey. Uh, I remember the revolvers. I remember looking at them because I do not like that weirdo waffle pattern on the end of the barrel for some reason uh, and the barrel itself doesn't look like it matches the body of the gun i've just never been so i remember i looked at them and i wasn't really thrilled i was put off by that uh waffle pattern that they seem to love so much um let's see where am i at uh, send lawyers guns and money donate to the pets and vets fund got three entries into the uh, drawing at the end of the chat and says in your expert opinion are werewolves prevalent in the American Southwest desert areas or is it too hot for them well I don't know that it's too hot it's just too dry uh, uh, there's a reason why a lot of larger predatory mammals don't live there it's it's too dry. There's not enough resources. Uh, now, there are werewolves there. They're just not in high concentrations because, you know, werewolves can live in trailers too. So they can, you know, and they can also, you know, werewolves can do things that regular wolves can't, like dig a well or put in a septic tank stuff. So they, they exist. Uh, they're just not as prevalent as they are other places. I mean, werewolves like their, uh, they like a forested area. They like trees and they like, you know, uh, green terrain and stuff from what I hear uh, P's and V's uh, says practical bacon all of you in your respective primes who beats who in a fist fight never enough ammo you and G oh well, G webs big G webs is a big guy I'm, I'm going to what I think I would do is if it was the three of us were going to get in a fight uh, I would instigate it between G webs and never enough ammo. And then, as just as G webs is squashing never enough ammo, I'll hit him from behind with a cinder block. Uh, I think that's the way it'll go down because I, I fight dirty. Uh, I just picked up a Glock 29. Wait a second. 
Uh, I lean G Webs, but you and the NEA might pull it out as you guys seem more likely to fight dirty to win. Well, yeah, I would fight dirty. Uh, of, of the three of us, I would bet G Webs would have the most honor as a fighter. But uh, uh, like I said, I would have them. I would have G Webs destroy never enough ammo, and then if I could take him out right at the end, I'd take him out without even seeing it coming. But at the very least, he will have been weakened by his confrontation with never enough ammo and give me a chance. So, uh, Kim V 47 also donated and got some entries. Uh, Kevin practical bacon got seven. Uh, he said, Ken V 47 said, I just picked up a Glock 29 gen five to go with my gen five Glock 20 M O S seems like a nice carry gun. I'm betting it is. I, I like the gen five G 20. I got, uh, I, Today, when I was at Sporting Systems, I was hoping they would have a Gen 5 G29. I could see, but they did not. I think they go quick when they come in, so didn't get to see one. It was uh, very quiet there today. Friday afternoon, 1 o'clock in the afternoon, it was very quiet. Um... Where was I? Are you Yankee Marshall on P Circle and Scribble Star? P Circle. I don't know what P Circle is. Uh, going to do some magnet purchasing tomorrow. Need to see what all I have already. Well, yeah, you don't want to rebuy the things you. Well, maybe you do. Maybe you should buy two of everything. Got to have a spare. You know what they say? Two is one. I don't know if that applies to magnets, though. Because magnets are not usually going to fail on you. I mean, I I don't remember that I've ever stuck a magnet on the side of the refrigerator and it just fell off or anything. Uh, unless, of course, it wasn't a magnet. Like if I was just trying to stick a business card or something there and it wasn't really a magnet. But things that are actually magnets, I don't think I've ever had one fail on me. I think I'd give them 100% success rate. Oh, uh, he. Time, you're his age. I thought you were already there. Aren't you like 200 years old? Not me. I'm, uh, what is it I say? I'm 49. Actually, I'm going to start lying the other way. I'm going to start telling people I'm 65. Because if I say I'm 65, people go, oh, well, you're not doing too bad for 65. If I tell people I'm 49, they're like, eee. That was a rough 49 years. Did you live outdoors the whole time or something? Yeah, people would start wondering if I say 49. How old will I be? 58? Uh, ooh, I'm closing in on 60. I, I, I can do I'm 60 and I can kick, but that was 50 when she did it, but I'm 60. <clears throat> Franklin D. Roosevelt did not start a war either, yet look what happened to him. Uh, got my new black leather outside waistband hol holster from Kirkpatrick Leather in Texas for my two and a half inch Colt Python. Well, you didn't send me a picture of it, so I don't believe you. I think you're lying. Dirty, dirty liar. Why must you turn my chat? into a temple for your lies. Uh, I took a chat. I took a nap before we did this because I got up early this morning, got my stuff done, went to the gun shop, came back, and I had an hour and 20 minutes till the chat started, and Turnip was wanting to take a nap. So I was like, all right, Turnip, we'll take a nap. So we went and we laid down in the bed. Turnip's still in the bed for all I know. He did not get up when I got up. So I slept right up till five minutes before this chat started, got up, came out here, put, well, I put my clothes back on, uh, came out here, and, well, put on my shirt back on and my pants, but I had on other stuff. I uh, came out here and did this chat, and yet I'm holding it together like you never would have known. I was all confused and confuddled when it started. Um... Uh, Ted Collins just said at the Yankee Marshall. Did I jump or did I run out of questions? I think I may have jumped. Hold on. Uh, 
A Florida court says that Savage Arms knew their Axis II rifle could fire with the safety on. One lady's Axis II discharged into her leg as she was climbing a hill. Yeah, you don't should never under, you should never ignore uh, issues when your product is capable of killing someone very easily. Uh, that puts you at a, a, a very bad position as far as liability is concerned. <clears throat> but business manufacturers do that. They like, oh, it'll cost us this much to fix it, but yeah, we could probably buy off this many people who shoot themselves and cost less money. Why do you think uh, big industry is always spending billions of dollars trying to convince you that the problem with the court system is the little man suing everybody? How many people do you know they're filing lawsuits against people when they can't really afford it? Uh, that's not about lawsuits or court reform, tort reform, they call it. It's actually about limiting liability. They want to put in like, oh, well, people can only be held accountable for this much money maximum. That way, when they like say you're Boeing and you're like, hey, our planes are likely to drop out of the air. We could either spend uh, 50 billion dollars fixing them or we can just wait till one or two of them drop out of the air first and then it'll only cost us this much in compensation because it's maxed out at this much per person. So in the long run, we'll save a lot more money if we just wait and see if some of them fall out of the air uh, because they can do the math when there's a limit on how much they'll be responsible for. So that's what that whole thing is about. Oh, he sent a picture of his holster. Looks nice. Got a nice cant to it. Uh, let's see. I'll show a picture here. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, got a nice little cant. I like that it's stitched at the top. I don't like when the tops are just left bare and plain. I like them to be stitched or I like it to be double reinforced up there or something. And that, that looks pretty nice. Who did they say that was? I forget who they said made it. Someone in Texas. Uh, I'm surprised people. Well, I guess people in Texas can sew. And then he didn't have to read nothing or anything like that. Uh, oh, well, it, he uses a coaster. I can tell in the picture. He's a he's fancy. I'm betting that might be in a hotel. Or maybe not. Maybe he just uses coasters. I don't know. <clears throat> uh, flash in the pan says P's and V's. Can you shoot a 38 long colt in a 357? I don't know. I've never tried to shoot 38 long colt in anything, but I doubt it. <clears throat> I doubt it. I'd have to look to see, but I doubt it. Um, watching the new thriller movie, Late Night with the Devil. It's really creepy. I saw the previews for that because I'm a big horror movie fan. I'm more of a monster movie fan than I am a horror movie fan, but I like uh, uh, horror and monster movies. It's my favorite genre. Gene Ray, I guess I should say. It's my favorite Gene Ray. Uh, and it did look kind of weird. I don't know if it looked good or not. It did look weird. but And I don't usually go as much for the possession or ghosts or spiritual shows because I'm just like, well, that don't scare me at all because I don't believe in any of that stuff. I don't think the devil's going to come get me or ghost. Uh uh, but a giant monster crawling out of the ocean and eating me, yeah, well, I believe that, man, that can happen any second. Or some sort of werewolf or, or other monstrosity, you know, deformed person. I, those ones are scary. Um, what platform benefits auto or revolver the most when metallurgical advances hit the market. I don't think either one any more than the other. Because how much more advanced uh, do either of them need to be? Uh, there's limits with guns. I mean, you can say, oh, look, we produced a new metal that's as strong as uh, titanium, but it doesn't weigh anything. It's as light as air. Well, you wouldn't want to make guns out of it because then it would be fucking impossible to shoot the goddamn things. 
Uh, it's bad enough with the lightweights they got now. That's what's the reason why they're not more popular. There's a reason why every gun's not made out of scandium now. Because nobody wants the 44 mags and the scandium and stuff very much because they are uh, abusive. Like that uh, 329 I got up there. Fucking abusive. Period. That's the only thing you can say about it. It is, it is a bad, bad gun that does bad, bad things to your fingers, hands, and joints when you shoot it. So I don't think firearms can really benefit that much from advances in met, uh, metals, etc. The only reason, the only way I think right now that uh, guns could could uh, benefit from an advance in metals is if we started making metals that were colored, you know, like they were purple or red or uh, black or silver or whatever all the way through and you didn't have to put a finish on them. Like if you could make aluminum or something like aluminum that was purple and you could make purple frames with it and they would always be purple. They just, you know, you didn't have to finish them. And if you scratched them, you could sand them off and it'd still be purple. Uh, Mikey D says, because a Paul needs a hand, got my true glow TFOs on my Glock 19 waiting on my Balder S light laser to show up. Only old people still use lasers, by the way, just so you know. But uh, <clears throat> but that sounds nice. I like the TFOs. TFOs are some of my favorite sites. That gun I showed uh, when the, yesterday, the Bruin has a TFO on it. And I've got TFOs on other things. Uh, like the, the Glock, it's sitting in there dirty right now. I came home today, uh, even though I didn't get a chance to go shooting today. I come home. Uh, this is what I come home to. Let's see if you can see this, if I zoom in. This is what's sitting on my uh, bench in there, my table, and where I do my videos. Boom. Bunch of dirty guns. Where my son had gone shooting and then just left the guns up here for me to clean. So, uh, well, he says he's going to clean them later. He just got busy. I'm like, uh, yeah, you're leaving them here for me to clean. I'm not stupid. Because he knows I'll end up clean. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. He knows I'll end up cleaning them. Because I can't stand to see them sitting there. Uh, let's see, where are we? The lady whose access to rifle spontaneously fired needed her leg amputated because she lost so much blood. The round went through all her calf muscle and destroyed her shin. Ugh, doesn't sound fun. Uh, which one of your handguns would you prefer to conceal carry on a hot day? Uh, well, I carry outside waistband, so it really doesn't matter. And I'm just going to wear something like this, like something light and flowy. Uh, uh, I need some more. What what I need is those uh, gauzy shirt. What are they made out of? They kind of like a gauze material. What they call those things? Not flannel. What do they call that? It's, you know that lightweight material. It's like what is that? Linen. Like those lightweight linen shirts. I need some of those to wear for summer. But it really won't make much difference because I don't worry about concealing all that much. And I outside waistband carry. So hot or cold, as long as I wear a belt, I can carry whatever I want. Uh, but if I'm like, you know, last night what I was thinking what I need to get though, uh, we were going, uh, I was going to walk down to my uh, uh, shooting range area last night and it was after dark. Uh, and I just wanted to go down there and look for something. And I didn't want to put on pants to take a gun with me. Uh, and I so I just went with no gun. But I was like, you know what I need? I need some sort of like just strap holster that's got a gun in it that I keep in it that I can just stick on when I don't want to actually put on pants. So I need to look into that. Uh, Audit and two says shot my 357 for the first time. Holy shit, makes a nine millimeter feel like a pea shooter. Well, I guess, of course, it's a much more powerful gun. Also shot a full auto burn two. It was Bren 2. Uh, it was an awesome day. Well, that sounds fun. I'm not all that big on shooting full autos. I mean, 
I'm not going to say that back in the day, rednecks used to make full autos more often than you would think. I'm not going to say that at all. Uh, and I'm not going to say, well, I, sh I shot a bunch of them in the military. Uh, not like as a course of duty. It's just that I was in a, a situations where someone was like, hey, you want to shoot this? And I'd be like, sure. <clears throat> but uh, like as in my job, I didn't really shoot fully automatic weapons. But uh, it's just, just there's no no real appeal on it to me. I get much more enjoyment out of a one shot, one precise, clean hit kind of shooting. That's more my thing. I'm more of a I want to spin the spinners and I want to flip the flippers and I want to do that kind of stuff. One shot at a time. Bam, 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 bam. I don't want to go because all I'm doing is just spending money and making a lot of noise. And I'm not a fan of either of those things, spending money or lots of noise. Um, in the Southwest, you have to watch out for wear rattlers. I don't think there's any such thing. You're making up silly stuff. And when you make up that silly stuff, you you dilute the truth of the real issues. People will start thinking, well, then there's no werewolves either. Uh, Franklin, I read that. Got my, my new, oh, well, I read that too. I guess it was Kirkpatrick Leather that made that holster I showed. Kirkpatrick Leather. I could use that for about two and a half inch. Um, you should send it to me. Um, I think I might be done. No, uh, I think I jumped to the bottom. Hold on. Uh, email sent. He sent the picture. Uh, what iron sights have the brightest tritium you've seen? Iron sights have the brightest tritium. Why? Uh, well, unless they're tritium sights, if they're just iron sights, but uh. I think you mean like what brand is the brightest? I've never really noticed a huge difference, but the best ones are the TFOs because they're visible night, day, whatever. So uh, they're they're clearly they're easily the most visible uh, night sights I've ever used. Uh, what do you see the handgun market heading in five to 10 years from now? Where do you see the handgun market heading? Oh, uh, downhill a lot, uh, because less and less people are interested in guns every year. Markets shrinking. Uh, they've had a lot of inflated sales over the last 20 years. Uh, but they did it all in the worst way possible through fear mongering and division. And that catches up with you eventually. But eventually it's going to get to a point where the majority of people don't pay attention to that anymore. And uh, it, the market's going to contract back down to not only a normal level, but a below normal level, because now all those people who bought, 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 bought for years have everything they need and don't need more. And you haven't really grown your market beyond them too much. Uh, so uh, it's not going to, I don't think it's going to be good. I mean, I've got stock in some of the companies, but I don't think it's going to be good. Um, what is your 40 Smith and Wesson? What, what is your go-to 40 Smith and Wesson other than Beretta? A, a Sig P229. Going to have them make me a gun belt too. Uh, I just use, uh, uh, who the fuck are the belts I use? I'm wearing one right now. Uh, those ones, you know, click, click, click. Why can't I think of the name of it right now? There's only one type of gun belt I use, and I can't even think of the name of it. Uh, I'm blanking totally. Everybody in here knows what be gun belt I use. What gun belt do I fucking use? Uh, DB50 says, thanks for your 686 versus Rhino advice. I went with the Smith & Wesson. Love the gun. Hate the grips. Any recommendations on grips without finger grooves? Uh, well, yeah. I mean, Hogue makes them without finger grooves. I think uh, 
uh, uh, VZ makes them without finger grooves. Uh, uh, what's the other company makes them with the, the uh, uh, not Badger? What's the other Badger does, I think, too. But what's the other group of company? I'm blanking on them too right now. Trackline was the name of the belt. I couldn't remember, by the way. Trackline is the belts I care will wear. That one I, I remembered when I was trying to remember uh, the name of the grips. Uh, just didn't remember the, the thing I was trying to remember. Uh, do you think that Dan from Sporting Systems is aware of the defect in the Savage Arms Access 2? Would he continue selling them if he knew they were defective? Well, if they, if they know they're defective, well, then they'll pull them off the shelves. I mean, who? no one wants to take the liability for that. I mean, I've seen guns pulled off shelves before. Uh, you should make him clean him. I mean, clean them, I think he means. <clears throat> ungrateful non-gun cleaning kids do you ever threaten to return them no that they, they've for some reason people in this country return uh, uh really frown on very 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 late term abortions which i i don't understand that i think as long as they live in your home should still be it should still be on the table for as long as they live in your house eat your food spend your money it should be on the table <clears throat> just be like, yeah, I decided I, I didn't want that one. Um, supposedly, the pro wrestler, wrestler, Chris Colt, was disqualified from being drafted to the Vietnam War for being a homosexual. Well, good for him. <clears throat> if you're going to suck a dick, I guess not having to go to Vietnam would be like a good reason to do it. Well, that is if you don't like sucking dicks, I guess. If you like them, then like it, then that's, there's, there's a reason to do it. But if you could also not have to go to Vietnam because of it, well, more power to you. Uh, sent you an email the other day about podcasting. Did it help at all? I didn't see any email about podcasting. I don't believe you sent it. I don't see most of my emails. I mean, emails are hard to keep up with. Um, what was that? Oh, I thought I got an order, but it was not. Um, it's me spending money. Uh, I agree. Scandium not fun to shoot. Saves money and ammo because three, four cylinders is enough. Yeah, you got, you put one cylinder through it, a couple cylinders worth through it, and you're done. You're like, yeah, that's enough for me. That uh, 329 is just downright painful to shoot. And the problem with that is you start to, if you shoot too much, you're going to start flinching because you're going to be like, ow, ow. So I try not to shoot them too much because of that. Uh, they're detrimental to your shooting ability. They're great for carrying, but not, and you won't have a problem shooting them if you're under duress because, you know, adrenaline will be flowing, et cetera. You'll be, Shooting like crazy, not even thinking about it. But uh, uh, as far as being fun or good to practice with, no, they're, they're not good. Uh, you know, you know, you are not a real big forty-five ACP fan. But thoughts on the Glock thirty-six? I mean, if you're going to shoot forty-five ACP, I mean, my the Glock's a fine way to shoot it. I don't see any reason why you wouldn't. Uh, uh, if you want a Glock, well, that's fine. I can understand why anybody would want a Glock. They're fine uh, weapons. Uh, if you're also wanting to shoot 45 ACP, which I have a harder time understanding why you would want to shoot 45 ACP, just shoot nine millimeter. It's going to be every bit as effective as 45 ACP, even more so in some cases with some loadings and some bullet types. Uh, but like I said, I can understand why you want to shoot a Glock and 
I really don't understand why you want to shoot 45 ACP, but if those two things align, you want to shoot a Glock and you want to shoot 45 ACP, well, then I have more power to you. I got my watch on. They keep blinking at me. Time to stand up. Uh, core. Yeah, that was it. The core track line. That's the name of the belt that I was wearing. That I wear. I always wear. See, I got one on right now. <laughs> See? Don't look at my crotch. Oh, the DB50 is cut. Well, wait here. Let me get. Got to get rid of that first. All right, now, don't look at my crotch, but there's the belt. <clears throat> um, let's see. At 11 a.m. New York time, I emailed you a short video of a guy who allowed an octopus to wrap his tentacles around his leg. He's lucky that octopus didn't kill him. I saw that, and I, it's creepy, but I like octopuses. So I, was, I thought that was cute. This big old octopus. The, we went. I took the kids, uh, my great niece and my great nephew, uh, 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 Braden and Ray Lynn, to uh, the aquarium this year at Seaside. They don't have an octopus now. That was always my favorite thing there to go see. But apparently he breaks out too much. Uh, the one they had, he was breaking out way too much. Uh, they'd catch him halfway to the ocean because it's right there on the beach. And uh, he would sometimes just break out and stay in the actual, uh, what do you call it, uh, aquarium. And he would go around and beat up the other animals in the other tanks. <clears throat> uh, let's see here. We are caught up over on the super chats. We got now eight more minutes left. Eight more minutes and then we'll do the drawing. Uh, what's in your holster? I got a King Cobra in an alien gear inside waistband. Well, I got you beat because I, I can't I ain't gonna show it to you because I'm not a moron. moron. Oh, excuse me. Uh, I got a, 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 a Python, Colt Python, two and a half inch uh, in my holster. But it's not in an alien gear. I do have some alien gear holsters. In fact, I've even got parts down here for an alien gear, which I don't know what I got these for. What the fuck is this? I guess this is a holster for an old cell phone. I've got so many holsters around for old cell phones that I ain't had in years. I think this is a this is for a, some sort of Android. I don't know what it was for. Maybe it's an Apple. This might have been for an old app on an old iPhone. Mm. But I mean, it's, you know, it's not a holster I'm ever going to have again. So I'm not sure why I'm keeping it. But you know, you never know. It's not, not 1986. It's not 1997 right now, but you never know what future might bring. This doesn't seem to want to go in there. Does it, is this the right one for this? I don't know if this is the right one. Let's see. Oh, yeah, there it snapped right in. Okay. It goes in face first like that. Mm. I don't even know what that's for, though. I got these. These are still, the batteries are still working in them. I haven't used this in a while. When I used to sit over there, <clears throat> when I was sitting clear on the other end of the uh, building, uh, back when this was all big, one big room, I had the target over here. And I could turn around and jam, boom, 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 at the targets over here on the wall. But I don't have those now, so I don't get to do that now. But I'm surprised the battery's still working. Well, I felt I'd open this drawer and seen the belt I carry right there. It says Core Essentials. <coughs> Um, bum, bum, bum. Have I caught up? Uh, PSC says, Hey, Yank, did you ever see that spring size matters video I emailed you yesterday? No, I didn't see a spring size matters video. That sounds like it might be interesting. Uh, someone bought a Trump on guns mug. Who was it? Daniel Davis. Daniel Davis, he's from Virginia. 
Virginia. That was my grandmother's name, Virginia. It's my sister's middle name because she has my two grandmother's names put together. See, her name is, you know, Carol, uh, Carol, Virginia, because I had my grandma, grandma Nancy, who is actually uh, Nancy Carol. And my other grandma, Jenny, which her name was actually Mary Virginia. They called her Jenny. Uh, so Carol got the middle names. My original name uh, uh, was Alan Scott. First and middle name were Alan Scott on my original birth certificate. Uh, but uh, they changed that pretty quickly. Because they wanted to name, my dad wanted to name me after himself. But everybody's like, there's too many Davids in the family. But then my grandmother's like, name him what you want. We'll call him Marty. And that's what I grew up being called Marty. But <clears throat> originally it was Alan Scott, which is, I wish I'd have kept that name kind of because uh, it would be like Green Lantern, the original Green Lantern. Did I answer his question? Yes, I did. I did not see the video. That's what it was. I went off on a tangent there. Um, do, do, do you think gun manufacturers being publicly traded harms them long term? Mm, I don't know about that. I mean, no more so than another company. But uh, if you are only concerned with next quarter, then panic buying is a good thing. Well, if you're wanting to make money, panic buying is a good thing, period. So, unfortunately, that probably wouldn't be. Would still be the case even companies that aren't like publicly traded like when springfield armory did their shit i don't think they're publicly traded uh core essentials yes i got my reservations to the firearms policy conference in san diego for september hope to see you g webs there i think i actually got my reservation i wonder if it ever um uh, firearms policy uh, uh did i get my i know i did it the other day when i was doing my i know i registered the other day when i was waiting for my subwoofer to be fixed how do I get this to go back down to its normal size? There we go. <clears throat> so I, I'm a going. I like San Diego, so I, I, I'll enjoy going down there. It'd be nice. It'd be better than going to fucking Arizona like last time. I went to fucking Arizona. It was hot as fucking hell. Good God, it was fucking hot. I, I, I walked over to the fucking, uh, wall, was it a Walmart? It was either a Walmart or some sort of store over there. Uh, that was, you know, a couple miles from the hotel. And I'm like, hey, that's a couple miles. I'll just walk it. I walked over there, but I did not fucking walk back. I got an Uber. It was too fucking hot. Uh, but Jacoby uh, entered, got an entry here, a couple entries, two entries into the drawing at the end of the chat. So suppose you were in snake country. What firearm would you choose? Let's say there are quite a few snakes as well. You mean like if I'm walking through a snake infested area or something? And that's what I'm worried about is snakes. What gun would I carry? Well, I don't know if that'd be as much about the gun as the as the round I would carry. I think I would just put carry my revolver, but I'd have snake shot in it. Uh, give me a better chance taking out the snakes. Uh, and then I could put regular ammo back in it if something else happened. But uh, I would probably just carry whatever I was I'd carry, like my two and a half inch Colt Python with some snake shot in it. So that would be more of a, a ammunition thing than a, a gun thing. Well, here's the thing. Snakes don't usually like ambush you or sneak up on you and come out of you, you know, or try to attack you. They try to get away from you. So you're not going to find yourself in a situation where there's like you're surrounded by angry snakes that are rapidly approaching on you. Uh, so a revolver with some snake shot will be just fine. That's usually going to be, you're only going to have to shoot one if you're like, oops, I was so uh, uh, oblivious to what was going on around me that I walked right up on you, even though you gave me every option to know you were there and you tried to get away, but I still walked up on you. 
Uh, just glad he didn't buy his own ammo. That happens to be corrosive Eastern European. No, he uses my ammo. I'm very particular. I am particular about the ammo in my guns. Uh, I have never liked shooting cheap uh, ammo, uh, dirty ammo. I just don't like it. So I don't like it shot in my guns. Uh, oh, sure. And if he bought ammo, he'd go buy Minuteman ammo. It's what he buys and it's what he shoots. So. Oh, sure, you complain. I don't try to help you podcast, but you won't read what I send you and try to help. Well, how am I supposed to know you sent me an email? I don't know how to do these podcast bullshit. Dan from Sporting Systems wants me to do a, one of those simultaneous podcasts where you watch a feed from the Capitol and we comment on it. And I have no, no clue how to do that. So, because there's a, he sent me a link to, Remember how the commissioner in Washington overruled the judge, uh, I believe it was Cowlitz County, uh, on the uh, mag ban? Uh, well, he had to put out a video talking about why the, why doing that wasn't crazy and it wasn't really outside the norm. And then he gave an, excuse, an example of something else that had absolutely nothing to do with what he did. And in fact, it was the opposite of what he did. And... Then he went on to say, I don't rule on merits of cases. I just decide if they're actually cases that should be heard by the, this court. Well, you very much did rule on the merit of the case because you overruled him. You issued a stay on his order. So that was you not deciding, well, yeah, the Supreme Court should take this up. You issued within hours of his order a stay on his order, which, you, which there's a lot of question whether you actually have the authority to do or not. Uh, and then he goes on to admit that he was conspiring with the attorney general about the case before it ever happened so that he would be prepared to issue the stay as soon as it happened. Well, that's kind of saying you think that the merits of the case are of such that they're going to rule wrong and you're conspiring with someone else because of what you think the right ruling is that you're going to put a stay on it. So he didn't do himself any favors, but apparently they've scheduled another hearing now, an actual hearing, instead of him just trying to get on there and explain what he did. So uh, he wants me to do a broadcast with it, but I don't know how. i got to figure it out. PSC says, dumped the video link in the chat. Oh, can you put video links in the chat? I don't think you can put video links in the chat. I don't see it. Yeah, I'll look for it in a little bit. Uh, where was I? <laughs> do, do, do. Uh, the upside to owning a 32 H&R and 327 Federal Magnum is that during an ammo shortage, when everyone is panic buying, you're likely to see find these calibers. Sometimes, and for a very short while, but... Not necessarily, because here's the thing. If, if those ammos are produced on a line that could be better used producing the ammos that are disappearing quickly, they'll stop making them all together. And then you'll really be in trouble. Uh, Olight had their 17th anniversary sale, saved me like 45 bucks and a couple of, and a couple of free lights. Couldn't pass it up. I like the Olight products. I've got some Olight products. I carry an Olight, I think. Uh, right here. See? Uh, the Baton 3, I carry an Olight. So I like them. I just don't like that every uh, YouTuber in the world does pro Olight videos for pay. They offer you money all the time to do your videos. And I'm like, no, I don't want to take paid. Uh, an aquarium without an octopus is like a zoo without any gorillas. Well, this is just a tiny little aquarium. Uh, I mean, it's literally, it's one room about the size of my living room, dining room combined. Uh, and it's just like aquariums around the wall and then like a little tidal pool thing in the middle where kids can touch and enemies and stuff. And then the octopus tank. Uh, and now there's no octopus in the octopus tank. Uh, the main uh, attraction at that little tiny, tiny aquarium is that as you first go in, there's a, a big tank uh, and the sea lions come out there and you can feed them fish. You can buy cut up herring and you throw the little herrings to them. Uh, and that's the uh, 
a, a main attraction. The kids get to throw fish to the, and they'll do little tricks. Like they each have their own little trick. Like one will slap the water when he wants food. One will splash when they want the food. The other one will strum on himself. You know, they each have their own little trick. Uh, oh, we're out of time. I got to do the drawing. Uh, we're past time. Uh, I didn't get to all the questions today because we ran out of time. But uh, Let me count here and we'll, we'll do the drawing. I'm sure we got more than 20 entries today. Uh, one, four, seven, ten, thirteen, sixteen, seventeen, twenty, twenty-seven, thirty, thirty-three, thirty-six. 39, 40. I got to do between. Hey, why is that guy got? Why is Officer Taterator have my picture as his? I just noticed that. Uh, I got to do a random number generator. Excuse me. Random number generator between 1 and 40. 30, I guess I should say. 15. So I got to count down 15. Uh, 1. Four, seven, ten, thirteen. What's well, practical bacon? Practical bacon one. So practical bacon. Let me know what shirt, hat, whatever it is you want. Not whatever, but hurt hat, shirt, small flag. You know, let me know what you want and send me the email and put hat winner in the subject line, and then uh, your email address and stuff in the body. And yes, my sister's coming this weekend to send out patches and stuff. So anybody who's do stickers. Like if you do the stickers for, uh, yeah. I don't know, I to, if you do the stickers like these ones here uh, for uh, like, uh, uh, oh, that's upside down. Like for uh, subscribe star stuff, those will be going out this weekend. If you do patches from Patreon, that'll be going out this weekend. If you do uh, t-shirt stuff, I should be getting that out this weekend. But uh and pins and things like that. Everybody should uh, be ready to go this weekend. But uh, thanks everyone for coming. I appreciate it. I'll see you again uh, tomorrow. Uh, what is today? Yeah, tomorrow's Saturday. So it'll be a regular everyday chat. So I uh, hope that I'll see y'all then. Until then, remember, always carry and stay safe until I see you again.